Welcome back to episode two of the VIP budget build. Today, we're gonna start off with a front splitter from eBay. This cost me $100 and uh, let's start it on, see how it looks. So the verdict is it looks pretty sweet, but we're having to do a little bit of adjustments to make this thing fit. This thing is actually looking really cool. It looks a lot more like a chaser. And here is the big reveal. Boom, look at that. That looks so good. Holy crap. And it's not perfect. There is a couple little uh, gaps here and there, but for a hundred bucks, uh, you know, since this is the budget VIP daily build, um, I'm not mad at that. I think it looks really cool. Makes the car look lower, a little bit wider a little bit stancier and uh, I love that I think it looks really good what do you guys think for a hundred bucks not that bad and we're gonna move on to the next thing that we're gonna do you can see I got the blue tape out right here and these trims that are all flaky you can see a bunch of crap and they're you know pretty beat up this one doesn't have much flaking but it is faded uh, black and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side you can see here this side is much worse it's just peeling in a bunch of spots it looks so ugly so we're gonna restore that really quick. I'll show you guys what I use with a paint primer. We're just gonna tape it off. Uh, probably sand down a little bit of the bubbles here. As you just saw, you might have noticed uh, these front pillars turned out pretty good. I'm happy with that, but these side pillars uh, might have went a little too fast and they got some runs, so I'm gonna have to redo these another time uh, and just go a little slower. I'll probably bag out a little farther. I just wiped off some overspray on the windows and whatnot, so I rushed that a little bit. Guys, you take your time and do the prep work. So I think what we're gonna do next, I went around and taped off uh, some areas where I don't wanna sand over. I'm gonna sand down and start getting ready for the color change. And it's probably going to be like that for a little bit until we get everything sorted out. But uh, you can see here, it needs to get sanded down. We're going to sand that down with, I think, some 400 grit. Uh, you know, I marked off with a Sharpie around all these spots that need to get hit. Uh, obviously, this massive spot on the hood here is going to get hit with 80 grit uh, to sand down the rough edges. And then we're going to come back with a 400. And then I think also a 600 grit. Um, but we're going to start with 80 and 400 on some of the spots here. We're going to hit this with a little 400, this little spot. I taped off under here because this spot's got to get cleaned up. So uh, you can get the picture, you know, Sharpie here. And then a uh, tiny little dent there that I'm probably not going to worry about. I'm uh, going to sand down this a little bit here. You can see this tiny spot. 400 grit on the back bumper here. And sand this down, this DIY botched rear paint job uh, with a spray can. Came out terrible, uh, the previous owner did. We got another spot marked right here. So you get the idea, we're gonna go around the car, we're gonna sand down a little of the, all the little imperfections and the big imperfections. We got this one marked here. So we're gonna start sanding this thing down, get it all smooth.
So here is the Frankenstein mobile. It doesn't look so hot right now, but it is smooth. All the imperfections are sanded down as you can see around the car. A couple big dings on this side, back bumper, the whole thing. Like I said, it was a, some, someone did a DIY botch uh, paint job. Little ding here, that whole thing got sanded down. Should look pretty clean uh, under the paint or wrap now. I think it's gonna look a lot better than it did. No rough edges there anymore. So that should be covered pretty well. I think I'm gonna have to primer a couple of the spots that are bare metal. All right, so it is the next day and uh, I was thinking about it a little bit, watching some YouTube videos and looking up fenders, $500 for a fender. So I'm not gonna do that right now um, because hence the budget VIP build. So I think I'm gonna try my best. I'm terrible at this stuff, honestly. Um, but we're gonna see if we can straighten this out a little bit. But I can't find one anywhere. So we're gonna try to bang this out a little bit. We're gonna take the wheel off, see if we can't straighten this out, maybe put some body filler over it, make it look decent for the wrap, and then I can always rewrap the new fender. I guess let's try to straighten this thing out a little bit. how to go about this but I'm just gonna I guess gently massage pulled out it is not smooth whatsoever but it uh it has the same shape as the fender now at least you can see a ton of wrinkles in it if you come here but we're going to try to use some of this body filler bondo right here from autozone and uh, mix it up we're going to lay it on really fat here and hopefully see if we cannot uh, mold it back slowly uh, into a nice smooth uniform shape on the fender here we're going to sand it down first with some 120 I would usually do 80, but I don't have any, so we're gonna hit 120 on the DA and see if we can sand down all this crap, get it ready for that Bondo. Okay, it's taking shape now. We got it sanded down all the way down to bare metal, so hopefully we can fill in. Oh boy, it's gonna be some work to massage this back into shape because it's super wrinkly here, but um, it looks pretty good. It looks better than before already. And hopefully we can get this to look manageable. Let's see. I just know body shop guys are screaming right now. <laughs> This looks like crap, but I think hopefully it's layered up enough and we can sand it down. Hopefully this turns out pretty good because once it gets wrapped, that's gonna be, you know, one whole piece and it's gonna look really good. So I'm excited, you know, this is the budget build VIP. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys don't hate me too much for, for doing this to the fender, but I think it's gonna look better and I don't have to wait for a fender to come in and we're just gonna wait on the color, whether it's paint or wrap. And then we're gonna go from there. So we're gonna let this set up for 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll come back and start sanding it. So this is where we're at right now. I'm not super mad about it. It's not perfect by any means, but it's smooth. It actually looks like a fender. And uh, you know, we just gotta sand down a little bit more on the outside perimeter of it. Uh, with 400 grit, get out all these heavy scratching marks here so you can't see those under the wrap or paint. And uh, after that, we're gonna clean it up and prime this section here and then step back and see what it looks like. That is actually not bad for a super DIY budget uh, fender repair 
saving me $500. Uh, let me clean this up a little bit with some sandpaper, clean it down, hit it with primer, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Here is the Fender Reveal. Check that out, guys. I think this turned out super good considering I have never done bodywork as extensive as this before. It looks almost back to straight. There's a couple little fine scratches here and there. There's some pitting in it uh, and there's some sanding scratches. Um, and it's not exactly, exactly back to how it should be from factory, but I'm telling you, that is not bad. I am not mad about that at all. Guys, tackle your own repairs. That wasn't that hard. It was a fun project. It looks like an actual fender again. When it's all wrapped or painted, this thing is gonna look pretty much not noticeable from about five, 10 feet away, something like that. Like you can't even barely notice it on a good clear camera. So that is not bad at all. I'm not mad about that. Guys, look at the befores and then look at the after. I mean, come on, look at that. That was like that. And now it looks like this. That is not bad, I'm not mad about it. What do you guys think? So I'm pretty sure the last thing that I have to do before getting this car ready for paint or a wrap is this back right here. There's some dodgy old uh, DIY paint job that I sanded down the other day, but it got overspray onto the chrome trim here. You can see the green. So I got some goo gone or a label and sticker remover. And I'm gonna try to scratch all that off, get that looking actually chrome again because I love that chrome trim across the car so let's see if we can spray that down heat it up and get that crap off all right new plan this stuff uh, this green crap I guess it's old paint I don't know what it is it is not coming off uh, as planned so we got some perfect match universal chrome I've never used this stuff I've always been curious if it works or how it works uh, so we're gonna test it out we're gonna put three coats we already got a prep sanded with 600 and then clean down with some prep spray. I'm gonna put a few coats of this universal chrome on this trim here and hopefully, uh, hopefully it turns out all right. car just looks like some kind of funkadelic 80s design but uh you can see here that how this stuff sprays on it's actually pretty cool it's not super bright chrome but it definitely restored that trim back to how i think it should be and uh it's not perfect but it definitely looks better as you can see and then uh before paint or a wrap i'm just gonna take a 600 grit and sand all that stuff it looks pretty good actually cleaned off all the paint around this trim here. Now you can see how good it looks. And there's a little tiny bit over on um, the spots that I taped off, but that'll get all covered with the wrap or paint. I'm actually really stoked on how that turned out. So we got the trim taken care of in the back. Everything is sanded down nice and smooth. We got the fender here taken care of and it doesn't look too, too bad. Uh, there is some touch-ups that I could do before we wrap or paint it, but for now, that's going to have to do. I'm not mad about that. This is all sanded down nice and smooth. You can kind of hear how smooth that is. We got the front lip installed, which I think looks super cool, super sleek. And all the rest of the spots on the car are touched up. So that is it. The car is ready for paint slash a wrap. Not too sure which one we're gonna go with yet, but I will let you guys know in episode three of the VIP budget build series. So that is it for today's video. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos in this series. And I love how this thing is turning out. It's gonna be really sick. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one.